Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. George Carlin used to talk about your stuff. He said your house is just a place to keep your stuff. And when you go on vacation, you take some of your stuff with you. He said there's even an industry dedicated to keeping an eye on your stuff. He was talking about the self-storage industry. But nowadays, we want to be able to keep an eye on all our stuff in real time, no matter where it is. Well, SparkFun's got you covered there. You can now keep an eye on your stuff literally anywhere in the world, in real time. That's right, you heard me. Uh, maybe your stuff tends to get lost on short domestic flights when you check it. We've got you covered there. Or maybe you've got some really important stuff on a research vessel off the coast of Antarctica. Oh, we've got you covered there too. Now I can hear you asking, Rob, what is this amazing new offering from the Super Brains over at SparkFun? Well, it's this, the new SparkFun Artemis Global Tracker. The brains of the Artemis Global Tracker, or the AGT as we've come to call it, is the Artemis processor. With one meg of flash and 384K of RAM, you'll have plenty of room for your code. It runs at 48 megahertz with available turbo speed of 96 megahertz. It's got an integrated BLE radio and antenna, and the module is FCC, IC, and CE certified. Alongside that is an Iridium 9603N satellite transceiver, allowing for truly global operation using the Iridium satellite network. It's powered through a pair of one farad supercapacitors charged by an LTC3225 supercapacitor charger with an ADM4210 inrush current limit circuit. For positioning, there's a Zoe M8Q GNSS receiver, a 72-channel receiver with 2.5-meter horizontal accuracy, maximum altitude of 50,000 meters, maximum velocity of 500 meters per second, and can measure a force up to 4 Gs. The board also houses an MS8607 pressure, temperature, and humidity sensor with a pressure range of 10 to 2,000 M bar, humidity range of 0 to 100% relative humidity, and a temperature range of negative 40 to 85 degrees C. Power can be run to the board through a USB-C connector, via battery through a two-pin JST connector, or via solar panel or battery pack with a maximum allowance there of six volts. There's a single SMA antenna connector for both the 9603N and Zoe M8Q with integrated protection circuitry to ensure that only one device uses the antenna at a time. It's got MCP73831 LiPo charge management for single cell LiPo batteries, and of course, a quick connector to allow you to easily attach external I2C sensors. We've also broken out pins to PTH connections for I2C, SPI, RESET, plus five digital I.O. and five GPIO pins. One important thing to keep in mind when buying this board is that the Iridium modem requires a monthly rental service to exchange information with the Iridium satellite network. Now you only pay for the months that you want to use the modem. There's no annual contract or anything like that. Line rental costs 12 British pounds per month, that's about $17 US, and it includes access to the RockBlock management system for managing your devices. Another thing to keep in mind is that you cannot, by default, use the modem with another Iridium airtime provider. Now you can do that if you want, you'll just need to pay an unlock fee of $60 US per modem. One of the concerns with this is what happens if you write your code and you configure it, you upload it, and then you take your modem and you release it out into the wild on your long-term, long-distance project, then decide you need to reconfigure it. No problem there, we've got you covered. We've written a configuration tool that will allow you to reconfigure this via Iridium message. There are so many possibilities for this board. One of the coolest we've seen so far comes from the Norwegian Oceanographic Institute. I recently spoke with one of their engineers who said they've been able to get so far nine months out of one of their units using nothing but a pair of D-cell sized lithium batteries. We'd love to see somebody use this to track elephants. I had considered a project where I would go up to Esses Park and put this on an elk to track elk herd movement, but it turns out I don't know any wildlife biologists and it's dangerous, dumb, and in most places illegal to approach wildlife by yourself unless you're properly trained and authorized. Seriously, don't be that person. I do, however, have some other ideas for short and medium term projects for this, so keep an eye out for those. So whether you've got lofty goals, like maybe tracking the paths of some yet to be charted rivers on the Kamchatka Peninsula, or maybe your goals lie closer to home, like putting this in a box on your porch to figure out where the porch pirates keep taking your stuff, I mean, seriously, we can't all do the Mark Rover glitter bomb thing, right? Well, whatever your tracking goals, this is going to be the perfect place to start. The new SparkFun Artemis Global Tracker. Get yours over at sparkfun.com. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking.
And when I fired the thing off, I'm like, ooh, 11% humidity. <coughs> this board is at the iridi iridium. I'm yeah, I'm drying out quick here. So head on over to sparkfun.com and pick up the Sparkfun Artemis Global Tracker today. Get yours at Sparkfun. I already said sparkfun.com. So far, Uncharted and then come check, 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 check. Good enough.